And we're at chapter 6-2! I really wish they gave titles for these. At the very least, just a, you know, a fight 50 or fight 25 through 50. But alas, that is not to be. Alright, in case you're just joining us, uh, I have 28 HP, but a full inventory, and I'm close to a level up. And in case I did not se separate out the episodes, well, we're keeping on... We're keep on keeping on, I guess? Tell me, Challenger, do you come to the 26th gate seeking a kick in face? I am Grand Master Kickface, foremost dispenser of swift kicks in face. You seek face kick, and face kick you receive. Okay, can I burn you? No, you're one of those anti-burners. That's not allowed here, and so I will stomp you. Ugh, my face. Many faces have I kicked, but this day, it is my face that feels foot. I must climb the highest peak and meditate on my failure to kick face. You may pass. May your feet, swift, may your feet swiftly impact the faces of a dozen warriors. Only a dozen? Not, you know, 75 or 74, which is how many we have yet to face. Wait a minute. We have 75 max HP. There are 75 people left. A coincidence? I think not. I think something is afoot! Ha ha! 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 Okay. You, sir! Meet your demise. So yeah, I was talking about Dragon Ball Super. I'm... There actually are a lot of shows that I'm watching right now, which is kind of cool, because, you know, I'm finding new things, and, well, I mean, Dragon Ball Super isn't new, but it's, it's still coming out, and so I have a series to keep me busy. Plus, I'm watching Let's Plays, and then, of course, Ruby Volume 4 came out, and you, you guys wondered how many uh, more Ruby references there would be yet to come. And, uh, well, I'm going to say infinite, because I'm not dead yet. And so, as long as I have breath in me, and as long as the designers continue to impress me, I will make the Ruby references. And he's dead. But yeah, that's actually pretty good. And also... Oh yeah, man, these these all tie together. In the uh, first uh, first episode of Volume 4 in Ruby, they actually made a Dragon Ball Z abridged reference, of all things. Which is kind of cool, because there have been a couple voice actors from abridged that have, have crossed over and been in Ruby, which is pretty neat. But also, going along with... Oh, wait, wait, oh, I... Wait, 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 this guy, this guy, this guy. The 29th Gate, a place of gossip and legend. Here you find Mystical Whistle. I am hidden here, deep in the Duel of 100, to keep my intoxicating power safe. Many have sought to harness my power, to ride the wind past the obstacles of life. Some succeed. There's a name for them. That name is Cheater. Now I will cheat you out of your life! But yeah, going along with the same vein of Dragon Ball Z Abridged and Ruby, uh, they actually brought the voice of Beerus... Uh, over, what is it, Jack Douglas? I, I feel like I'm getting the first name wrong, but the last name is definitely right. You have used a code. You have defeated Mystical Whistle, but I will not whisk you to a faraway land. Cheaters are only cheating themselves out of a great journey. You have honor, and so I know you would not wish to dishonor yourself. You may pass, but know that Mystical Whistle always waits. Ever tempting. That's actually a neat throwback to Mario 3 with the uh, whistle that would warp you. Also, that's a, that whistle is a throwback to the Zelda games, so... Duo reference, I guess? But yeah, Jack Douglas, uh, the voice of Beerus, recently jumped on the uh, Ruby staff. Ruby staff? Ruby team? I don't know. He He's doing a character. He's voicing a character in Ruby, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I don't think this is spoil- wait, wait. And never did I, a laughing axe not expect to meet you at the sixth gate. Ha 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 ha. I hate you. Okay, so this guy has some some people problems, I guess. But uh, what was I? I keep <laughs> I keep interrupting myself and losing my own train of thought, which is my own fault. Okay, leaving this guy behind. Yeah, I don't think it's spoilers to say who he's voicing. He's voicing um Weiss's father, which I do not think that's spoilers. I mean, that was kind of spoiled in the intro of all things, so it's not really a spoiler. So I can feel free revealing that. Some men dance on dance floors, some men dance in jubilant celebration, and some men dance on the heads of turtles. 
I am that man. I am man who dances on turtles. Today, it is you who are the turtle. Ha ha, that makes sense because I am a turtle. And you're, I mean, you're, fu you're dead, yeah. You have danced a lively jig upon my honor. I almost said he's fired, but that only would have really applied if I had, you know, fired him. I must find a new hobby, like sliding down hills into turtles. That, I will change my name. And I will change my ways, because I'll never see you again. Alright, through this door. And I'm tempted to switch off of Barry, but uh, uh, he's doing good work for me, so I'll, I'll keep him for now. For Fathomless Chasm of Falling stands between you and the gate. Many tempted to leap beyond me, only to plummet to their game over. You cannot leap what is unleapable. Now you plunge to your doom. I'm not actually going to attempt leaping over him because I'd rather leap on top of him and get a style. I have been vaulted. I mean, kind of. I'm, I, I am past you, and now I'm not. All right, moving on. We're not even halfway done, but I am. I'm happy, and I will not complain because this is the last I get to see of this game for a while, and I mean for the foreseeable future because I don't. You know, I, I, you, when you play a game, it's kind of hard to imagine playing through the game immediately again. There have been very few games that I have, I've played and then immediately replayed. Uh, Skyward Sword is one of them. Let's see, Skyward Sword. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Fire Emblem Awakening is one of those games. Uh, hmm, I. I think that's actually it. There aren't that many games that I've finished and then immediately replayed. It just it just doesn't really make sense a lot of the time. Unless there's something vastly different that they offer, it just doesn't really make sense to do it. I don't know, maybe you're one of those people who plays games, you know, they find one game and play through it a bunch of times. I mean, that's okay, but, uh, I mean, that's not me most of the time. Alright, game through or round 34, it's a jumper, it's a jumper. There are so many different AI patterns that these guys have, and it you can kind of be able to read from what they say, uh, what kind they will be. Like, this guy was Leaping Panther, or he was a Flaming Panther, but he talked about leaping, and he leaps. So, some of them you can kind of tell what they're going to do by what they say, but you really have to just adapt. It, there, there are multiple patterns, and each of them have a straight counter. I mean, it's not, they're, it's not RNG. Okay, Peking Boo, do not look away. I won't, because you will die. Round 34, fight! Or 35. Okay, like this guy, he doesn't jump. He really doesn't. He just runs up and swings. He doesn't shoot projectiles, he just tries to beat you in close quarters. And that guy, you, I could have definitely, if I had known what he was, I could have just held down the beginning of the fight and instantly killed him. But, I mean, that's the price I pay for commentating, not reading everything that I see. And also, I don't want this these last episodes to be just a mishmash of me doing voices and making puns, because I have things to say. Like, I have to talk about Dragon Ball Super, which is um, absolutely amazing. You are late. You have much to learn about timing and stuff. So, you're dead. And let's run away. This is another one of those guys, except he p shoots projectiles. My actions were commanded by, with perfection, yet you still shamed me. I am humbly, hum, humbled. Did I really, pal? Really, pal. I am humbled. That's about as bad as the Placide butterfly, which there are very few of you who actually remember that. But that is indeed what I called blessed butterflies from uh, Skyward Sword. I've been talking about the game a lot recently. And speaking of replaying games, I've been tempted to play through uh, Skyward Sword again in my own time. I've also been tempted to stream it, but I, while well, I have the equipment and I have done streams before, uh, it, uh, and you're pr probably wondering, where, where did you do streams? Also, there's our level up, and we did indeed get an attack boost of one, but with how that translates with our card and Bowser, that's actually attack boost of four. So, we have four more attack. Pretty nice. But, uh, I, I actually did streams for my college, which I think I've mentioned before. But I did a stream for my college back when there was a an exhibition between two clubs. There was uh, the computer club versus the gaming club, which I'm part of the gaming club. And 
their exhibition of choice, because this is before Overwatch came out, was TF2. And so I, I commentated, or rather, I guess it, it was more, it was closer to shoutcasting. Um, I shoutcasted TF2, and that was actually really amazing. Um, I don't want to... Come on, wait, 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 jump. This guy is best if I do that. There we go. Uh, I don't like to toot my own horn, although, actually, I do like to do it. It's just not a good thing to, <laughs> to be a fan of. Uh, but I'm actually really proud of my commentary during that. I had played a lot of TF2 just to get to know the game. And I had forgotten some of my equipment. Uh, my uh, original plan was to have people, have another commentator who knew how to play TF2 and was really good at it, and then I would be the color commentator, but I forgot the uh, the equipment to record to have two people commentating, and so I ended up doing solo commentary, and so I was forced to rest upon my own knowledge, but it went really well. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm really proud of my commentary there, and I remember someone... <laughs> Have you ever had an experience where it almost felt like an out-of-body experience, where you did something really well, and it was like, did I really do that? Well, this was that. This was my out-of-body experience where I did really well. And there was actually someone who I knew uh, in the quote-unquote booth with me, and <laughs> afterwards he was like, wow, you actually commentate really well, because I don't, I don't make a habit of advertising my channel, because a lot of, at least the people that I know, because it it can seem kind of weird, uh, I'll, I'll admit, especially when they ask, how many subscribers do you have? And I say, you know, I have almost 300. And they say, how long have you been doing it? And I'm like, you know, two years. And it's just, I don't know, it's, it's a weird hobby. And it's not perfectly, it's not, you know, it's not an admired hobby, I guess. Because so many people do it and they have, you know, two subscribers that it's just kind of put in the same vein as, as that. Basically, you don't really get respect in the in the normal world for saying that you have a channel, a Let's Play channel, until you have around, you know, at least a thousand subscribers. At least in my book. Uh, at least in my book. My book may be a little bit different and biased, but I, I kind of feel like that is the case. Okay, come on. There we go. He's dead. But yeah, I, I commentated that. And where was I going with this? Oh yeah, I wanted to stream Skyward Sword. I'm really going on tangents, but that's actually what I need right now because... I, I need something to talk about during these these long and droll droll fights. But I, I was tempted to stream it, but I actually have to stream to college because my internet is terrible. It's absolutely atrocious. Uh, and so I would have to stream to college, which would be a little bit awkward. Alright, there we go. And I got the style. I need to do those styles just in case there's a hope of me getting another level up. Plus, I want to end with as many points as possible, even though it doesn't really matter. Alright, moving on. We're almost... I, don't, I don't, actually have not been paying attention. What floor are we on? I know we're not past 50, because it would have been an end of chapter. So where are we? No, no, that guy was floor 42. That's what it was. Okay. So we're at floor 43. Or they're not floors, they're fights, because we're not going up or down. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I've thought about playing Sky Sword again, which I've been talking about for a while although actually uh that that kind of i talked about tf2 and uh i've been playing a lot of overwatch recently right and i mainly play uh i mainly play diva because diva is quite enjoyable plus she's not you know she's not op i don't want to i remember when i first started playing league um i i started playing league and I purposely de decided to play a champion who was bad. Also, wow, really? <laughs> Reality is warped. It definitely has. I just held down fire, and my trans-dimensional fire killed that guy. That very rainbow guy. That's actually kind of cool. But I, I purposefully played a champion that I knew was not overpowered. I played Skarner. I mean, later he was patched, and he was made actually pretty overpowered, and I had a 93% win rate on him, but... Still, I mean, I, I played him first when he was underpowered. And uh, I did the same with Overwatch. I picked a character that I liked for what they did, not for how well they did it, and that character had to be happened to be D.Va. And so I play D.Va a lot. Um, in fact, I think my second most played champion, Farah, I think she has half the amount of play hours than D.Va does, so yeah. Uh, but 
I've been thinking about doing Overwatch in the channel, which I said I would in the, the finale. I said I would do five episodes. Did I say that? I think I did. I'm going to be doing five episodes of Overwatch, uh, solo or duo, what, whatever can, I can do, uh, uh, providing my, my friends' schedules allow them to do it. But uh, I do want to do that. And that'll be pretty fun, because I've been playing D.Va. I play... I don't want to say I play most heroes in the game, because that's not true. There are some that I just... I stick... I stay away from for reasons of how much hate they get. Uh, one of those is Hanzo. Actually, I stay away pretty much entirely from the uh, defense cast. Every now and then, I will play Torbjorn, because I want to play Overwatch, but I, I don't want to put any thought into it. And so I play Torbjorn, and uh, that... I mean, that's how it is. Um, sometimes you have you have teams that actually know how to play around a Torbjorn turret, and so they 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 get rid of your turret and make sure that you can't actually establish a position. But most of the time, you you face noobs, even noobs that are you know level 200 and above, that uh don't know how to handle a Torbjorn turret. So I, I'll play him and not think about the game and win. Uh, but mainly, I stay away from the defense tree of or the defense class, because people just don't like defense heroes. They don't like Hanzo. Although, Hanzo's probably the most liked of all of them, just because he doesn't feel that stupid at most of the time. Uh, but, let's see. Uh, so I stay away from them. I stay, I definitely stay away from... Come on. There we go. No. Die. Thank you. I stay away from uh, most of the offense heroes, just because I don't like... I, I don't know. I don't like carrying with someone who can be focused down easily. That's why I like carrying with a tank because if you're one, v if you face a one v six situation as a tank, you could maybe do something. But as an offense hero, you have to seriously outplay your opponent. Okay, let's see if let's see if this transdimensional fire thing works again. Does it? It does. Although recently I started playing Tracer and. I mean, she's the pinnacle of outplay. She really is. I mean, if you try to play her like, I don't know, Soldier 76, you are not going to do well. You're not going to be able to just hold down, left click, and win. Uh, but you you actually have to outplay your opponent. All right. And then I play, I pretty much play every support. Uh, I originally picked up Symmetra. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This, this guy is named Ice World, and that is interesting. A frigid wind ripples up the small of your back. It is the hoary breath of the ice world. Every traveler must come upon me eventually, and you find me at the 50th gate. You try to tiptoe past my stormy wrath, but you bring down the avalanche. Round 50, fight. <laughs> Burnt out. Wow, that, that has a lingering hitbox if I've ever seen one. That is amazing. And he's also dead. In soul I melt, because I have a Russian accent. It is not an accent. All of you speak oddly. In Russia, this is normal voice. You have beaten Ice World, which means you can fight Bonus World. Just kidding. I am I am a Russian, and the Russian voices are very fun. All right, uh, I think that'll be it for this video. Maybe once again, I don't. I, I'm recording these all in one go. And so I have no clue, but future pal will decide, so I'll see you guys in a second, or in a couple of days. End of chapter!